Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It is my birthday weekend. I thought it would be super fun that um, we go visit some plant shops. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so we're at our first destination, which I found along the way to the place that I was wanting to go to, and it's this little greenhouse, so we're gonna pop in here and see what they've got. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> the most excited I've ever been in my life for anything. Alright, so let's do it. <gasps> oh my god. The smell in here is just phenomenal. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. Oh god, I feel overwhelmed already. <gasps> Look how pretty these are and how big. Oh my gosh. And that's like not a bad price either. <sighs> Holy crap, I cannot get over how big these are. Dapsis Silver Splash. Oh god. So pretty. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh god, here we go. Dark Lord. Oh. Heartburn. Look how cute that is. Over and Anthurium. Oh, these are some really nice leaves right there. I did not even know that this greenhouse existed. This is so cool. Oh, look at this. Dragon tail. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at those leaves. Oh my gosh, I want that. Painted lady. Anthurium <gasps> arrowhead. So pretty. Look, baby. Philodendron splendid. Oh, and they have some pink princesses. Nice. Like, I knew I wanted to get a plant today, but I did not realize that I was gonna be overwhelmed with all these choices. Oh my god, philodendron ring of fire. Holy shit. Dragon's tail. I really, I really do love this plant. Here's a smaller version of the one that was up there. I feel like I might have to get this one. I feel like I might need it. Oh god, I just spotted one that I've been wanting forever. Oh my god. I have been dying to have one of these and I think I'm gonna have to get one. I have I have this color, I have the red, but I want a lemon lime, so I'm definitely gonna have to get this one. I'm gonna set it here because I need to look, keep looking, but that is definitely one I'm getting today, for sure. I am such a sucker for ferns. Look at this. And it's not a bad price either. Okay, that one's also on my think list. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We have our philodendron Swiss cheese, yes. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to look at. Some alocasias. Holy cow, look at that. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that's not even that bad. Look at that price. It's not bad. <gasps> but this, this right here, this black velvet. This is one that I've been eyeballing for a really long time. 34, okay, I don't know. I feel like I want to get this. I feel like I should treat myself for my birthday. Uh, Alocasia Azolani? Am I saying that right? Okay, look at these. I'm such a sucker for Alocasia. Wow. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like I need to keep going. I'm just, I need to, I feel like I need to like take in everything and then make a decision. Wow, this is so pretty. I feel so overwhelmed. I want them all. Buy them all for me.
these two. Oh god. Oh my gosh. I can't. I literally, I literally can't. This is too much. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna explode. Look. Oh, these are yes. A string of turtles. I've I've been wanting some of these, but I'm trying to decide if I want to stick with the succulents or if I want to move on from them. Look at this. Holy shit. Look, babe. Is that not wild? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Holy crap. These guys hiding back here. Wow. Look at that cactus. I feel like I keep saying wow and but like honestly that's legitimately how I feel. I'm just very overwhelmed. This is my first like actual greenhouse experience and I was not expecting them to have as much as they have. This is absolutely incredible. I need to get a job here. I would probably spend every paycheck on plants if I did. This is also a wish list, wish list plant that I've been wanting, Hoya Compacta. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have never seen this before. Hoya Curtsy? Curtisi? That's really, really pretty. Wow. I do like the Hoya Compacta. Like these are, these are really pretty. I haven't gotten into the Hoyas yet. But these are pretty. These are making me think again. These are making me rethink my life's choices. But yes, I don't know. I guess maybe because I haven't ever really experienced any of these except for what you see in like the big box stores. But these are definitely making me rethink my thoughts of Hoya. Yeah. These are so cute. Wow, those are barricaded. Wow. You can definitely understand why it's named that. Oh, is this what I think it is? I don't know how to get over there. Is this a Mykins? I've seen them online, but I've not seen them on person yet. I feel like this is Look at those leaves. Those are actually really good, and that's not a bad price at all. I may have to get this one. Oh, here's another skindapsis that I've been wanting. They have these, they've been selling these in Lowe's. Um, but look at that for that price 30 bucks. Cebu Blue. It's, in, it's amazing how, like, how much more beautiful they can be when you find them in a greenhouse in conditions that they really love. Oh, this is one that I've been wanting. I don't know that I'll get it today though. But look, it's not that pricey either. Very pretty. Holy shit, look at this. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. And that is really not a bad price. Some more scandapsis. These giant leaves. I should have never seen this before. Look how cute this is. This is an alocasia tiny dancer. I do love an alocasia. What did he find? What is this? Silver sword. I knew it. I knew it when I saw it from afar. Look over here. Chinese money plants. I've been wanting one of those too. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just gonna like buy up the whole damn store. Just give me everything. They have like so many wishlist plants here, it's not even funny. Like it's literally not even funny. Oh no, wait, this is not Chinese money plant. This is, this is raindrop, I think. Raindrop, peperomia. Yes, it is. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh no, I was right. I think this is Chinese. Chinese money plant. Oh, super cute too. How's the patio? <gasps> no way. No way. I've been wanting one of these too. Definitely a wishless plant. 
No, I don't know what to get. Oh, they have small ones. I may have to get a small one. That's that's a little bit more in my price range if I'm gonna buy like a shit ton of plants today. Okay, put that in the back of the brain too. Okay, I think we are all done. I've got my baskets. My husband back there has my basket and um, there were some that I was trying to decide between but I, I've made my decisions and now we're gonna go check out and then I will show you guys what I got. Everyone loves a good string of pearls. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this dogtail cactuses. This is definitely giving me inspiration to figure out how to get my cactuses to look like this. This is incredible. Okay, bye bye string of things. Maybe next time. You know where the checkout is? Let's go to check out what we got. I feel like I did a really good job at picking, you know, budget-friendly plants, but also getting some ones that I've been wanting. How excited are you? Um, so excited. Uh, it was hard picking, but um, I definitely got some wishless plants. I feel amazing. It's true what they say. This is better than drugs. <laughs> That's my first time ever going to a greenhouse like that. I did good. I'm really excited to show you what I got. I didn't want to wait until I got home. I just was like, let me get in the car and let me film it and show you, show you everything that I got. So here we go. I got an Alocasia Black Velvet. Um, this is one that I have been eyeballing on YouTube and the internet for a while. Um, I just thought that I was going to have to buy it online in order to get it, but they had a bunch of them there. They had some bigger ones, but I went ahead and picked this one. Can't wait to get home, um, clean up these leaves. They have some like water spots on it. So I want to want to make it look at make it look nice and pretty um this is only $14.99 again I thought that was a really great deal and next wishless plant is um this lemon lime maranta ah I'm so excited about this plant guys um I've been seeing where some folks uh were finding these at Home Depot and I swear I would spend like all this time driving around to all these Home Depots and these Lowe's like every week hoping to find this one and I haven't been able to find it but this was only $9.95 and I felt like this is a really nice size plant for that price um I'm really I'm just honestly like so so pumped about this one <gasps> I can't wait to watch this one grow, but yeah, so we got that. You know, I had to, I had to get my philodendron on because, um, I don't know that I've said it before, but philodendrons are, philodendrons and alocasias are really like my, my favorite plant. Alocasia is probably like number one. Like I've, I don't think I've ever seen an alocasia that I didn't love. So I got, the next plant I got is this philodendron silver sword as you can see here this is such a nice plant um, it's got a lot of nice growth on it and there's even like some new growth down in here so I feel like um, once we get this baby like potted up in the conditions where it can like um, it can grow like it wants to on a pole I'm pretty stoked about that one this was only $21.95 so I feel like again this was a really great price for this size plant all right, and then we have this little guy. I don't know what the name of this is. If you do, please tell me in the comments. Um, but like, is this not the cutest little thing? I actually got it to put into um, some terrariums that I'm making. So there's two little plants in here. Um, this was only $2.95. I love the texture. I'm so drawn to just like unique, um, bright, bright foliage, but also like unique textures. And like, this is literally, I don't know it's so cute I feel like it looks like a coleus of some sort I don't know let me know in the comments if you know what this is but this was with like a bunch of other plants that were good for terrarium so I was like I gotta get it okay and so um I had to decide between a philodendron micans which I, again was a wish list they had a smaller plant like um like a small like starter plant size and then they had a hanging basket and I was like oh my gosh which one should I get? If I get the basket, I can propagate them. And then I saw this. So I was like, how do I pick? What do I do? And so I knew that I was gonna get like the, a more extensive plant and I decided to go with this is the beauty. This is a philodendron fuzzy petiole and I'm just so freaking excited about this. Oh my gosh, like I, you, you just don't know. Ugh. 
look how look at that beautiful leaf and there's a ton of them like their leaves are so big this was um 39.95 which i thought was an incredible price for it and then um you know i was trying to decide too like when i was picking which ones i wanted like look at all of that growth in there there's so much in there i just feel like that was a really freaking good like good price on that and oh let me make sure that's not please don't be thrip is that thrip Oh God, it has thrip. Fuck. I, oh my God, guys, like what the hell? I literally just stayed up till like midnight the other night because three of my plants at the house had thrip. Like I, two, one that I noticed that I just brought, that I just bought from Lowe's had thrip and spider mites. And I was like, fuck. So I had to like clean that, repot it, change its soil. I even divided it up to like try to like help it you know divide and conquer um fuck it just makes me really sad because like i'm gonna have to quarantine this thing and i feel like i need to check my other ones now because this was in the same box like i have these guys have been like rubbing leaves together anyways okay it's okay it's okay we're gonna be all right um it's just gonna be a pain in the fucking ass to like get rid of this shit because you have a shit ton of leaves so, but anyways, I'm not going to let that like rain on my parade. <laughs> the first time I got a mealy bug, I was like, I felt like a complete failure. I've like come to like the better understanding that it's just going to happen like that. It just happens. Bugs happen, especially when you have a lot of plants. Like it's just, it is what it is. And like, don't beat yourself up about it. But like, it's just such a process to get rid of them, especially thrip. Like that's one that I just really don't like because they just so quickly like drain the nutrients from the plants so but anyways um let me get back on track i'm still excited check out those fuzzy like the reason why this is called fuzzy petiole is because it is fuzzy petiole like look at those petioles they're so cute i'm really i'm still excited like i feel like my whole demeanor's changed now but um i'm still excited we're okay i'm just gonna put this guy like way way in the back and then I'm gonna check my other ones to make sure that they don't have any bugs um and if they do have bugs then they can just like ride together and we'll just be you know one big buggy family but anyways this was my haul today it was my birthday haul I had some other shops on my list that I was gonna go to and then like after the experience there and seeing like so many plants that were like wishlist plants but also plants that I've just really wanted to see in person was super awesome um I felt complete I don't have to go anywhere else so this is the trip this is it. Thank you guys for watching my video today. If you liked it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. That helps me in the algorithm, but also lets me know that I'm making videos that you guys like to see. Um, and if you haven't already and you would like to um, continue to see my content, consider subscribing to my channel. Again, that helps me out too. That helps me grow. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked seeing all the plants that I got. And I hope that it inspires you to go out and treat yourself and buy yourself, uh, buy yourself a plant today. So yeah. All right, thanks guys. I will see you in the next video. You are one gorgeous girl. You are covered in bugs. What the fuck?